The next day came. Some people had stayed on the other side of the lake. They knew that Jesus did not go with his followers in the boat. They knew that the followers had left in the boat alone. And they knew it was the only boat that was there. But then some boats from Tiberias came and landed near the place where the people had eaten the day before. This was where they had eaten the bread after the Lord gave thanks. The people saw that Jesus and his followers were not there now. So they got into the boats and went to Capernaum to find Jesus. The people found Jesus on the other side of the lake. They asked him, Teacher, when did you come here? He answered, Why are you looking for me? Is it because you saw miraculous signs? The truth is, you were looking for me because you ate the bread and were satisfied. But earthly food spoils and ruins. So don't work to get that kind of food, but work to get the food that stays good and gives you eternal life. The Son of Man will give you that food. He is the only one qualified by God the Father to give it to you. The people asked Jesus, What does God want us to do? Jesus answered, The work God wants you to do is this, to believe in the one he sent. So the people asked, What miraculous sign will you do for us? If we can see you do a miracle, then we will believe you. What will you do? Our ancestors were given manna to eat in the desert. As the scriptures say, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said, I can assure you that Moses was not the only one who gave your people bread from heaven. But my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. God's bread is the one who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. The people said, Sir, from now on give us bread like that. Then Jesus said, I am the bread that gives life. No one who comes to me will ever be hungry. No one who believes in me will ever be thirsty. I told you before that you have seen me and still you don't believe. The Father gives me my people. Every one of them will come to me. I will always accept them. I came down from heaven to do what God wants, not what I want. I must not lose anyone God has given me, but I must raise them up on the last day. This is what the one who sent me wants me to do. Everyone who sees the Son and believes in him has eternal life. I will raise them up on the last day. This is what my father wants. Some Jews began to complain about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that comes down from heaven. They said, This is Jesus. We know his father and mother. He is only Joseph's son. How can he say, I came down from heaven? But Jesus said, Stop complaining to each other. The father is the one who sent me, and he is the one who brings people to me. I will raise them up on the last day. Anyone the Father does not bring to me cannot come to me. It is written in the prophets, God will teach them all. People listen to the Father and learn from him. They are the ones who come to me. I don't mean that there is anyone who has seen the Father. The only one who has ever seen the Father is the one who came from God. He has seen the Father. I can assure you that anyone who believes has eternal life. I am the bread that gives life. Your ancestors ate the manna God gave them in the desert, but it didn't keep them from dying. Here is the bread that comes down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will never die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my body. I will give my body so that the people in the world can have life. Then the Jews began to argue among themselves. They said, How can this man give us his body to eat? Jesus said, Believe me when I say that you must eat the body of the Son of Man, and you must drink his blood. If you don't do this, you have no real life. Those who eat my body and drink my blood have eternal life. I will raise them up on the last day. My body is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my body and drink my blood live in me, and I live in them. The Father sent me. He lives, and I live because of him. So everyone who eats me will live because of me. I am not like the bread that your ancestors ate. They ate that bread 
but they still died. I am the bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Jesus said all this while he was teaching in the synagogue in the city of Capernaum. When Jesus' followers heard this, many of them said, This teaching is hard. Who can accept it? Jesus already knew that his followers were complaining about this. So he said, Is this teaching a problem for you? Then what will you think when you see the Son of Man going up to where he came from? It is the Spirit that gives life. The body is of no value for that. But the things I have told you are from the Spirit, so they give life. But some of you don't believe. Jesus knew the people who did not believe. He knew this from the beginning, and he knew the one who would hand him over to his enemies. Jesus said, That is why I said, Anyone the Father does not help to come to me cannot come. After Jesus said these things, many of his followers left and stopped following him. Jesus asked the twelve apostles, Do you want to leave too? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, where would we go? You have the words that give eternal life. We believe in you. We know that you are the Holy One from God. Then Jesus answered, I chose all twelve of you, but one of you is a devil. He was talking about Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. Judas was one of the twelve apostles, but later he would hand Jesus over to his enemies. Some Pharisees and some teachers of the law came from Jerusalem and gathered around Jesus. They saw that some of his followers ate food with hands that were not clean, meaning that they did not wash their hands in a special way. The Pharisees and all the other Jews never eat before washing their hands in a special way. They do this to follow the traditions they have from their great leaders who lived long ago. And when these Jews buy something in the market, they never eat it until they wash it in a special way. They also follow other rules from their people who lived before them. They follow rules like the washing of cups, pitchers, and pots. The Pharisees and teachers of the law said to Jesus, Your followers don't follow the traditions we have from our great leaders who lived long ago. They eat their food with hands that are not clean. Why do they do this? Jesus answered, You are all hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he wrote these words from God about you. These people honor me with their words, but I'm not really important to them. Their worship of me is worthless. The things they teach are only human rules. You have stopped following God's commands, preferring instead the man-made rules you got from others. Then he said, You show great skill in avoiding the commands of God so that you can follow your own teachings. Moses said, You must respect your father and mother. He also said, Whoever says anything bad to their father or mother must be killed. But you teach that people can say to their father and mother, I have something I could use to help you, but I will not use it for you. I will give it to God. You are telling people that they do not have to do anything for their father or mother. So you are teaching that it is not important to do what God said. You think it is more important to follow those traditions you have, which you pass on to others. And you do many things like that. Jesus called the people to him again. He said, Everyone should listen to me and understand what I am saying. There is nothing people can put in their mouth that will make them wrong. People are made wrong by what comes from inside them. You people who hear me, listen! Then Jesus left the people and went into the house. The followers asked Jesus about what he had told the people. He said, do you still have trouble understanding? Surely you know that nothing that enters the mouth from the outside can make people unacceptable to God. Food does not go into a person's mind. It goes into the stomach. Then it goes out of the body. When Jesus said this, he meant there is no food that is wrong for people to eat. And Jesus said, The things that make people wrong are the things that come from the inside. All these bad things begin inside a person in the mind. Bad thoughts, sexual sins, stealing, murder, adultery, greed, doing bad things to people, lying, doing things that are morally wrong, jealousy, insulting people, proud talking, 
and foolish living. These evil things came from inside a person. And these are the things that make people unacceptable to God. Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus. They came from Jerusalem and asked him, Why do your followers not obey the traditions we have from our great leaders who lived long ago? Your followers don't wash their hands before they eat. Jesus answered, And why do you refuse to obey God's command so that you can follow those traditions you have? God said, You must respect your father and mother. And God also said, Whoever says anything bad to their father or mother must be killed. But you teach that a person can say to their father or mother, I have something I could use to help you, but I will not use it for you. I will give it to God. You are teaching them not to respect their father. So you are teaching that it is not important to do what God said. You think it is more important to follow those traditions you have. You are hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he spoke for God about you. These people honor me with their words, but I am not really important to them. Their worship of me is worthless. The things they teach are only human rules. Jesus called the people to him. He said, Listen and understand what I am saying. It is not what people put in their mouth that makes them wrong. It is what comes out of their mouth that makes them wrong. Then the followers came to Jesus and asked, Do you know that the Pharisees are upset about what you said? Jesus answered, Every plant that my Father in heaven has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Stay away from the Pharisees. They lead the people, but they are like blind men leading other blind men. And if a blind man leads another blind man, both of them will fall into a ditch. Peter said, Explain to us what you said earlier to the people. Jesus said, Do you still have trouble understanding? Surely you know that all the food that enters the mouth goes into the stomach. Then it goes out of the body. But the bad things people say with their mouth come from the way they think. And that's what can make people wrong. All these bad things begin in the mind. Evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual sins, stealing, lying, and insulting people. These are the things that make people wrong. Eating without washing their hands will never make people unacceptable to God.